Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another cryptocurrency update. Let's give away some Conducts coins because I said in one of my other videos I did over a week ago, uh, we were going to do that. Sorry, I wasn't able to make a video in like over a week. I had some unexpected things happen that I had to take care of. So let's go ahead and um, check out the video right here. I said I was going to give away 10 bucks worth of Conducts. So we'll go ahead and do that right now to someone that participated in our comments here. Hang on one second. We got to open up the MetaMask wallet. Okay, there's our conducts balance. We're going to hit send. We have pasted the address of at Hoy K Kadio. Or is that how you pronounce your name? <laughs> I'm not sure if I pronounced your username right, but okay, let's go ahead and send. We're going to send $10 worth of conducts, which as of right now is about 213 tokens. We're going to hit next. And confirm <clears throat> we're up on a lot of stuff right now bitcoin sixty six thousand dollars went from sixty one thousand to sixty six thousand dollars in the last 24 hours a lot of the crypto altcoins like the gaming tokens and some of the ai tokens that i've talked about on some of my previous videos are also bouncing back right along with it we got beam up 13% in 24 hours. We got PAL AI up 18% in 24 hours. Hash AI is up 15% in 24 hours. Node AI GPU up 15% and Condux also up 15%. Central banks continuing to accumulate massive amounts of gold. According to a quick search here, it says as of May 6, 2024, central banks have bought over 290 metric tons of gold in the first quarter of 2024, which is valued at over $21 billion. This is a record-breaking amount of gold bullion tonnage purchased by central banks in the first quarter of 2024. Now, what does that mean for you, especially if you're someone that's just saving a bunch of dollars in the bank? Well, you see, the banks and these big financial institutions, they already know what's coming. They know that the dollar is getting dethroned, especially with the BRICS nations forming to de-dollarize. And as this is happening, they're going back to gold. They know that a crash is coming. And whenever there's a big crash, historically speaking, whoever has the gold retains the power. Our gold and silver bullion online store is now launched. The add to cart button is also active. If you log into your account and you click on shop up here in the top, you can scroll down and have a, a list of all the different options that they have available right now. I did a couple comparisons on like American Precious Metals Exchange, JM Bullion, and on a lot of the uh, a lot of the same coins on American Precious Metals Exchange and uh, JM Bullion. Uh, this website where I have the uh, the online silver store is actually beating them by like anywhere from like one to three dollars on some of the, the more prominent ones. So you can also become an affiliate with this company and earn an additional stream of income if you want to refer people. But if not, you know, you can just get access to this online store here where you can get this stuff uh, for at cost pricing. If you click the link in the description of this video, it'll take you to my Facebook account. And if you send me a direct message on Facebook or just click the link right below it, it will take you to our Precious Metals uh, affiliate page right here. And we actually have uh, 598 people in the group, but this is where you can get all the updates from the CEO of the company uh, with you know the one I just showed you where we launched our at cost metal store. And uh, this is where you get all the trainings, all the updates, and they're launching something in the back office that's going to function as a digital vault where you can actually exchange balances. So you can have a gold balance, a silver balance, and then exchange it for uh, for a USD balance and then withdraw as necessary. So let's say that you, you deposit a bunch of USD, you want to transfer it or exchange it into a gold bullion balance, then you can just do that at the click of a button and then contact the company and say, hey, mail me the physical gold that's on my balance and they will ship it out to you. I recently got to see what my blood looks like under a microscope. I posted it on TikTok and it actually has over a, a half a million views in like 24 hours, but I thought this was pretty cool. Check this out. So those are my blood cells on the screen right there? Yep, those are all red blood cells. If I find the white one, I'll point it out. That's kind of a funny shape of white blood cell, but it elongates as it travels to go eat things. Mm. Right there. 
But they're all sticking together so far. What does it mean when they're sticking together a lot? Usually there's dehydration, digestive issues. Okay. I'm hydrated. Yes, you are. Hydrated responsibly today. Yeah. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> but my blood's not being checked, so it's okay. So TikTok actually banned my account, like they suspended the entire account for that video of my unjabbed or uninjected blood cells. It says, system notification, your account was permanently banned due to multiple violations of our community guidelines. We ask that all users follow our community guidelines to help us maintain safe, respectful TikTok community. Now, I didn't even have account warnings on my TikTok or anything like that. Usually they give you multiple account warnings. And then when you log in, there's a big red account warning sign on your account before they they ban you. They didn't even do that this time. They just completely suspended the whole account. Now, luckily, I was able to submit a re an appeal. And it says, thank you for submitting your request. We reviewed your appeal and restored your account. We apologize for any convenience this may have caused. Thank you for being part of the TikTok community. You can search this yourself on the government website, fdic.gov, failed bank list. And you come down here, we can see the one that recently collapsed in April of 2024, Republic First Bank. And then we go down to 2023, we had Citizens Bank, First Republic Bank, Signature Bank, Silicon Valley Bank. This one was talked about massively. There was so much hysteria around the Silicon Valley Bank crash. But if you if you go back here, you know, 2019, 2020, 2017, so on and so on, you go back down to the uh, real estate market collapse of 2008. And like after 2008, you can see how many banks have collapsed. I mean, the amount of banks that collapsed after 2008 going into the following few years is just enormous. I mean, look at this list. It just goes down and down. There's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And we're expecting more of this to happen. You know why? It's because it's actually like a mathematical certainty that more banks are going to collapse because the inflation plus fractional reserve lending. Every single bank is insolvent. Every single one of them because they do fractional reserve lending. They're only, uh, they have a policy in place where they're only required to keep 10% of cash reserves for how much dollar value people have stored on the numbers on the computers in their accounts. And I've even heard some rumors that certain banks change their policies to where they have to or where they, they no longer even are required to keep 10% reserves. They're not re required to keep any reserves at all. So I expect massive bank runs coming to the United States. I can't say exactly when, definitely within our lifetime, probably not probably not too far away in the future. It's happening all over the world. There's just a media blackout. The United States government isn't showing you what's happening around the world, but there's massive bank runs, massive amounts of banks collapsing. And the United States is next, in my opinion. Now, what does this mean for you? If you're holding a bunch of money in the bank, you're at an extremely uh, risky position. That's why I hedge against these inflations and I prepare for these crashes with gold, silver, and cryptocurrencies. If trading cryptocurrency confuses you, if you're confused about the wallets, the exchanges, and reading the charts, click the link in the description of this video and sign up a free account with iCoin Pro, and then click on the part that says Free Trading Bootcamp. This is an eight module lesson that will give you the basics about how cryptocurrency works, how to read the, the charts and use the exchanges, and it should just give you a good foundational understanding so that you can start navigating the cryptocurrency market. All the world's money and markets in one visualization. This was updated in 2022, but it's still pretty accurate. Uh, this is going to give you an understanding of how much wealth and how much value is out there floating around in the world and how much of it can potentially be tokenized and put on the blockchain. This is one of the reasons why I use cryptocurrency as a hedge against inflation. One square, you see these little black squares right here. Can you see that? Is one, one of these squares equals $100 billion. And first up, we got uh, Sam Bankman Fried's net worth, sports teams, cryptocurrencies. Look at how small cryptocurrencies is. Now, this was um, in 2022, when the cryptocurrency market uh, was at 760 billion. But right now we're back up to I think like 2.1 or 2.2 trillion. So just fill in all these squares in here, and it'll be an accurate represent a representation of where we're at now. Russia versus Ukraine, GDP, military spending, the different currencies, US, Euro, China, Japan, other gold, below ground reserves, jewelry, bars and coins, central banks, and other 
world billionaires. These are, you know, your Musk, Bezos, Gates, etc. The central bank's balance sheet. Remember, each one of these little squares is a billion dollars worth of value. The S&P 500. These are, you know, your big, your big stocks: Microsoft, Amazon, Berkshire Hathaway, etc. You got uh, U.S. versus China GDP. You got the global money supply. You got the, the all the stock markets combined down here. You got the global debt, which can also be tokenized and put on the blockchain. Uh, you got government's debt, financial sector debt, household debt. You got the global real estate market, which can also be tokenized and put on the blockchain. As we've already seen transactions happen over uh, over the Ethereum blockchain for real estate using NFTs, non-fungible tokens. This is residential. It's massive. This is agricultural. This is commercial. This is the global wealth, North America, Europe, China. Remember, each little square is $100 billion. Cryptocurrency blockchain technology is designed to tokenize all this wealth and transfer it over to the blockchain, which is the new system, because right now this is all just energy stuck in an old system, and energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred and or transmuted. And as this old system crumbles, I think, just my opinion, not financial advice, all of this energy stuck in the old systems is going to begin transferring onto the new systems, which is cryptocurrency, blockchain technology. Scroll down, we got India, Latin America, Africa, and then we got the derivatives down here, which is insane how much wealth is just floating around there. All this can potentially be tokenized, put on the blockchain, and moved around the world at the speed of light without the liquidity issues that exist with our current archaic, old, slow, inefficient systems. Two cryptocurrency exchanges where you do not have to use KYC. First up, we've got Poloniex, and this one has a $50,000 daily withdrawal limit with no KYC. I know mine says 47000 That's because I've uh, been trading on it recently, and I've done some withdrawals uh, recently. The next one is L Bank, and L Bank also allows you to trade with no KYC. And this one actually has a $280,000 USDT or US dollar withdrawal limit. So L Bank... Poloniex, links in the description of this video. Okay, it's time for some Q&A. Can you explain how having gold would help? And this was in response to uh, my video I made about how banks crash and banks collapse and banks shut down people's withdrawals. Why would having a gold reserve keep us safe? If this is happening, it's not going to matter what we have, at least to me it seems. So having gold will help in a, a situation where there's bank collapses or bank runs or if, if the whole system collapses, like I mean the dollar collapses, what happens is if you hold physical gold, you have bartering capabilities. Gold has always withstood this, the test of time as a medium of exchange and as a preservation of wealth. So it, again, it also allows you to do something called self-custody. Now, when you self-custody gold, silver, or even physical cash, or just anything, what that does is, is it eliminates this thing called a counterparty risk. Now, the bank acting as a third-party intermediary that holds your money, they are the counterparty risk because if they collapse, well, that's the counterparty risk. If they go offline, that's the counterparty risk. Even the internet is another counterparty risk because if the internet goes out and you have your money in a central bank, the, the, the debit cards and the ATM machines don't work without the internet. Uh, the, your, your cash apps, your PayPal, your Venmos, your Zelles that are also hooked up to, to those bank accounts, they don't work without the internet. So there's multiple counterparty risks when you store your money in a bank. But when you hold the physical cash or the physical gold, there's no counterparty risk. So even holding physical cash has a counterparty risk because the Federal Reserve, which is a centralized banking in, uh, corporation, they're inflating the crap out of the economy uh, by, by endless money printing. So that money printing becomes uh, also uh, kind of becomes like another counterparty risk. But you see, with gold and silver, uh, they can't just, just click a button and print a billion dollars worth of gold out of thin air. Gold has to be mined out of the ground. It's it takes work to to get more of it up out of the ground. So there's there's a lot of advantages to self custodying gold and silver. It's used for bartering and it has industrial use cases like all the wiring in your electronics equipment, your laptops, your smartphones, your iPads, your uh, what's what's them call it the DSLR cameras. 
even like medical equipment, GPS devices and things like that, they all require things like gold, silver, and even copper in the wiring because gold, silver, and copper are, are uh, the conductors of electricity. So there's a lot of industrial use cases that are also giving gold and silver a tangible value where the US dollar, it doesn't really have any kind of like real value. It's just a piece of paper that's not backed by anything. And then uh, to, to the rest of your question here, it says, um, why would having gold reserves keep us safe? Well, I just explained how it keeps you safe. But this, the last part of your question, if something has happened, or if this is happening, it's not going to matter what we have. Well, actually, it's what you have will, will probably be the determining factor or, uh, of whether or not you live through the collapse or you die during the collapse because the people that have resources like gold and silver, food, land that they own or that they uh, control and is owned by a, a trust that they're the trustee, you know, if they have resources that they can use to survive, well, they're the ones that are going to live. And if you don't have resources, you're going to die or the government will kill you. <laughs> or, I mean, if a war breaks out, the mercenaries that are hired by the central bank, they might kill you, but it's, uh, it's very important. These are very important things, in my opinion. Uh, and how, you know, how this all plays out, I'm not sure. These are just risks, not forecasts. I can't guarantee you that everything is going to collapse all at once and it's going to be chaos and everyone's going to die. But that is a risk because we do see banks collapsing. And historically speaking, every central bank and every government that has installed a fiat debt based money system has collapsed 100% of the time throughout history. Now, I don't believe that the US dollar is an exception. I believe that the US dollar is going to continue crashing, losing value eventually. Uh, we'll probably see hyperinflation, just my opinion. But if you want to learn how to hedge against uh, the inflationary dollar and uh, protect your wealth and protect your assets and learn how to trade these markets and build your wealth in perpetuity. You want to learn how to escape the matrix. Make sure you follow my account. Click the link in my bio. Follow all my other accounts. Become a gold and silver affiliate. Learn how to get gold and silver shipped to your 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 uh, address for at cost pricing. Learn how to trade. I got a great free cryptocurrency trading course that will teach you the basics about how to use the exchanges. And I got all kinds of other strategy videos and stuff like that. You need to establish... Uh, pure contract irrevocable trust to protect all your assets, uh, send me a message. I can send you some info about that as well. Everyone have a wonderful day.